If you have a client freaking out because their website seems to be hacked, you're probably looking for answers fast. We're gonna show you how to check a website for malware infections and what to do when you find one. Don't panic, unless you're at a disco. All right, your client is certain that their website has been overrun by malware. There are tools that will scan your site remotely to find evil payloads and malware locations. Remote scanners are limited, but they can offer some quick answers. Security Site Check is a great scanner to use for a first step. Enter the URL of your site at sitecheck.security.net and click Scan Website. If the website is infected, review the warning messages, any payloads, and locations. You can click more details at the top to review the iframes, links, scripts, and embedded objects to identify unfamiliar or suspicious elements. If you have multiple websites on the same server, scan them all. Cross-site contamination is one of the leading causes of reinfections. It's a good idea for every website developer to isolate their client's hosting and web accounts. Oh. Hot in there. Usually the best indicator is just listen to your visitors if they've been redirected to some, some website or something else appeared or a pop-up or something like that. Something definitely worth investigating and taking another look at because it's possible that many more are, report, are seeing it but just not reporting. Have you been awoken by a client calling you at 2 a.m. wondering why their site is acting up? And maybe something recently changed. And with the help of some terminal commands, you can quickly check recently modified files. Type this command in your terminal. You can also copy this from the link in the description. If you want to see directory files, type this. Unfamiliar modifications in the last 7 to 30 days may be suspicious. I've even seen malware go unnoticed for over a year. If your website has been blacklisted by Google or other website security authorities, you can use their diagnostic tools to check the security status of your website. If you haven't signed up for any free webmaster tools, we highly recommend that you verify all your client's sites to keep track of any issues, like these over here. Or check out the links in the description. And of course, it wouldn't be fair if we didn't mention that the hub at GoDaddy Pro offers backups and security scans. Best part is, you can sign up for free. If you're comfortable handling it yourself, there's some steps you can take. Clean up a client's site on your own. Hmm. However, if you're not familiar with editing database tables or website files, don't be afraid to seek assistance from someone that is. Always make a backup before attempting any major changes. Hey, it's me. However, restoring from a backup is not a great way to get rid of a hack. Often, hackers will infect a site and leave backdoors sitting idle for weeks or months before they actually use the site for anything malicious. In other words, that backup you just restored gets reinfected and you're back at square one. One quick fix that can solve a lot of issues is to replace the core files for your content management system, which will overwrite any files that have been modified by attackers. You can also use any clues from the previous sections to find payloads, backdoors, and recently modified custom files to restore them to a known clean state. The link in the description will have more info on how to do this. Finally, you want to ensure you get rid of any backdoors installed by the attacker, as they will always leave a way back into your site. More often than not, security analysts find multiple backdoors of various types in hacked sites. Often, these backdoors are embedded in files with names similar to core files, but located in the wrong directories. Attackers can also inject backdoors into configuration files and directories of your themes, plugins, and uploads. The security guide linked below has even more details on common backdoor PHP functions that you can search for. A solution such as GoDaddy's website security, powered by security, runs daily security scans automatically. 
After you set up website security, it will automatically scan the website every 12 or 24 hours based on the frequency you set. If you're concerned that the site is currently infected, you can prompt website security to re-scan, which usually takes less than 10 minutes to complete. If website security detects any problems in the scan, you'll receive an email notification along with next steps to fix the site. <sighs> I thought I got them all. To avoid those 2 a.m. calls and from stressing yourself out about website security, have a plan. If you think about security from the onset, both your clients and yourself will breathe easier. Feels good to be prepared. Hey, if you like this series so far, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. If you have a topic in mind you want us to cover, let us know in the comments.